Hello, hello. Making sure everything is. And yeah, gonna jump in here in just one moment. Grid, we're gonna jump in here pretty soon. Um, did some camera, did some AFKing off camera, and it's pretty exciting. Let me do that. Change the transitions to be just a tad. Shake them three instead of five. So, yeah. So, we. Exciting. Ooh, I'm a little laggy. A little laggy. Um, I got my iron farmkin. Ooh. Ooh. What, what am I laggy for? Let's, let's check something. Let's check something out here. Video settings. Let's, uh, minimum. Let's go fast for now. I think that should help for just for today. Yeah, it's a little, like, a little stuttery, but that'll work. But I got my. Well, hello, creepy. And um, it took a bit of um, fine negotiating, <laughs> is the word I want to use. Um, uh, I basically had to replace some blocks up in my farm up towards the top because it needed to have some solid blocks instead of transparent ones like the glass. And then I had to move some stuff around. I had to raise up the platform where the water was. But it was a pain. Um, but I have the lava in, so when the iron go home all, so they'll come off water up the top, they get pulled off, and then they'll fall in here and get burned up. Um, and I got lots and lots of iron, so this is the kind of way I separated out. Oh, there's one. Right. They're three blocks tall, so they get hit and stuff. Um, but I did a little AFKing overnight. Some iron and some poppies. Um, and I have all of these kind of set up this way. So, yeah, I've got a good amount of iron, which means that we can start uh, working on big projects like uh, sorting systems, anything to do with hoppers and things. So, yeah, that's super exciting. My big plan tonight is do a lot of cleanup, get some mining done. Uh, Start working on that monstrosity. Uh, um, but yeah, we need to do a lot of little things first. Let's, uh, it's because you are still driving me nuts. Nuts, so park is decreased. Uh, let's try that. Oh, a little bit better. So let's let's do some harvesting. Uh, how was as New Year? Oh, my game. It's probably because of lag. I don't know what is the deal. I think it's because I left my computer on overnight. Um, so it just has some probably background processes on the. Um, and so my mic might be a little iffy. Let me do something here. Um, let me just change it to my regular mic right there. All right, is that any better? Yeah, I gotcha. Um, is that any better of sound with uh with the mic i just turned off my um 
my broadcast software on it. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I don't know what's been going on. I'm having computer troubles, but we'll get it figured out eventually. Yeah. But New Year's was fun. I streamed Cyberpunk, and it was a technical disaster. Um, it was, <laughs> it was, it was fun to play. It was not fun to manage sh a stream and playing. <laughs> but I will probably continue playing that. Um, uh, I'll continue playing that off. Uh, camera there I increase the sound a little bit hopefully that works for you there we go uh, boom 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 Probably do another stream on probably Wednesday, if I'm being realistic. Give myself a little time to navigate some technical issues. Um, just because I've been having these technical issues with uh, my stuff. So I'll use tomorrow as a way to, um, uh, to kind of get around that. Oh, you're going to get Cyberpunk for your birthday? I I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. I can definitely tell why people... Um, uh, you know, rail on it for bugs and stuff. I mean, there are some bugs. Um, especially with... You know, if your computer can't really handle it. Um, and I have seen some stuff for um on console about kind of how it performs so as long as you keep the the settings low i think on console it it'll perform well maybe some witcher yeah i think i'm gonna do um i think i'm gonna do the witcher on wednesday just so i can use this time to or use tomorrow to kind of see what's going on with computer stuff maybe I need to reorganize some um, some saves to make sure yeah I mean it's good like I enjoy it and I think it's gonna have like a decent storyline um, I kind of when I play when I finish it here on PC I kind of want to play on console and play as one of the other paths I think that would be good I think it'd be a lot of fun um, what should I put back there? Maybe some smooth stone. Let's do that. Um, Witcher Wednesday. <laughs> the marketing rights itself. Yeah, I got Minecraft Mondays, Witcher Wednesday. We could do, we could do something like that, and we'll do Fun Friday. We can just do a, a zany game. Um. But getting that iron farm done is like a big hurdle. Um, having a constant supply of iron is just, it's almost necessary once you get to a certain point because you need it to make hoppers and um, and hoppers are really how you can do mass um, item transport without, um, without having to worry about water streams and stuff. I am going to do the corporate path yeah, I, I'm interested to see how that one is. Like, the other ones are pretty much what you usually do on games like this. Where you're kind of like, oh, against the, you know, fight the fight the power kind of stuff. Most games center their um, protagonists around those kind of things. And I think the other two paths kind of um, hit that theme pretty, pretty evenly. Um, yes, I am busy on Fridays. You are correct. Um, what day did I mean? Maybe Thursdays. Maybe we'll do something Thursday. It'll be a good time. Down with capitalism. You know, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. 
but I I have enjoyed playing um, Cyberpunk. It's been it's been a lot of fun. I haven't played it since uh, New Year's, so I'm gonna jump back into it. Probably I might play it for fun tomorrow um, after I diagnose some stuff on the computer. Um, Thumb Thursday, all mobile games. You know, if I had a decent um, setup for that, I totally would do that. Because I love mobile games. Um, I don't play a lot of, like, mobile exclusive games anymore. Like, there's a few, like, puzzly games that I do. But I haven't, like, because I stopped playing, like, Clash of Royale or Clash of Clans, things like that. But if there were some exclusive mobile games that I was interested in, I would do that. I would do that in a heartbeat. I love mobile games. And I'm not one of those people who says mobile mobile gaming isn't gaming. Like, any kind of gaming is gaming. Like, there's no such thing as a real gamer. You Steam? Um, I use Steam for certain things. Like, I have Steam for my, um, uh, for some games. Um, I also have the Epics Game Launcher, which has a bunch of games on it. That's how I played Blair Witch for free. Um, cause they had it as one of the free games. Um, that's how I, you know, I pay for Stadia. Um, and I have some games that I have for free on that. There's some really cool games on Stadia. Um, Stadia is a lot of fun. I may, be, I may do Stadia on like late Saturday nights or something. Um, it's like a Stadia Saturday or Stadia Sunday or something. Because Stadia, Stadia is in, like... Stadia's cool once you kind of get the hang of it, but Chroma Squad. <laughs> I I may, um, cause the way you talk about it makes me want to play. So uh, it seems pretty interesting. The fact that it's very like meta, you know, like it's kind of a. It's aware that it's a game, almost, <laughs> or it's a show, or or or, or whatever. It's it's. I kind of like that aspect of it, so that's kind of fun. And there there could be definitely some fun stuff to do with like updates, like you know, um, character and actor updates. Well, hello, hello, hello. Dead pirate John or dread pirate John. Thank you for following. Dread Pirate John. Dread Pirate John. I like that. Oh, and off stream we had Morgan. They followed me. Uh, Morgan is a friend of mine and they followed me, which is pretty cool. I'm very excited. Um, they made an account just to follow me. That, that makes me very happy. Um, makes me feel loved. Oh, John. Awesome. Okay, I know. I know now. I gotcha. I gotcha. Well, now we need a pirate themed um we need a pirate themed character in Ascendant High. Um oh, Man, what would his powers be? Would be his powers would uh, would be sailing the seven seas, of course. Um also um, swashbuckling, um, talking to parrots, specifically parrots. Um, let's see, what else would their powers be? Oh, it, like having a cannonball arm would be fantastic. Thank you. Cannonball arm. Cyborg, squid person, space pirate. Yeah, I think that works. I think that totally that should be a character. That should be a villain. <gasps> he should be called the swashbuckler. Hey, diamonds. Captain Kraken. I like that better. I like that better. But if you're going to, then you have to do some alliteration. You have to do the sea kraken. Because superheroes, you got to do the alliteration. But not make it CK like 
like the drug or things that are broken. You know, it's got to be adding him to the list. <laughs> yes. I've helped create a few PCs now. <laughs> that gives me the happy. Hear all this lava around me. Just hear it bubbling. We should go exploring the nether today. There it is. I heard the lava. I knew it was here. But maybe we should go to the nether today. That might be a fun little excursion. Get some nethery blocks for our build pallets. That would be uh, very nice. Should be fun to to manage in the crossover. Dude, we're gonna have to sit far away. We're gonna have to, um, uh, we're gonna have to sit far apart and we can't have eye contact with each other because that's what gets Matt and I in trouble. It's not so much being next to each other because he's doing a pretty good job at um, uh, uh, not talking with me so much. So uh, with Matt, it's we make eye contact over things that get said that are like double entendres and we just crack up so skeleton skeleton with leather boots so we're gonna have to be out of eye line from each other i think skeleton yes you did finish miles morales i am I'm excited to play it, but it's going to be one of those games that I I wait to play until I get a PS5. Because um, I'll probably end up double dipping into PS4 after I get the games on... Um, after I get the games on PS5, because I want to make sure I get them there first. So I start building a library on it first. Uh, he is working hard because he has an extra distraction. This is true. This is true. And, you know, he is, like, dog tired. <laughs> so he is... I don't know if he has the, the mental capacity to, uh, to be that distracted when, uh, when his brain cells are, are functioning to keep him awake. Um, but, yeah. Should be a good time. I'm excited. Um... I have an idea for a character that if I do like, I, I wanna I wanna be in in shadow as like a villain or like a a sketchy character or something. Uh, I, I gotta run it by uh, the GM first. Make sure he's going to be sleepy at the crossover. Most likely. Um, he will probably be sleepy every day <laughs> uh, that we game. Speaking of grid, are we gaming on Thursday or is that going to be a no-go from now on? Or are we just kind of pausing for now? The sound of lava is not a bad sound. I, I kind of like it. It's soothing. That kind of bubbly. One character per player. Ah, that makes sense. Well, I meant like it's kind of like just a one shot. More of a, a you know, just a one off character. Um, either doesn't return or dies or something. Which is kind of why I was kind of leaning towards a villain. 
Um, but it would definitely not be something that I would play at the crossover. It would be something just on a session or something. Oh, on Thursday? Okay. If you can breathe. Are you not feeling well? Oh, yes, you aren't feeling well. I remember now. Um, you mentioned that earlier. Today. So, we'll have to... I I have ideas. <laughs> they may not be good ideas, but I have ideas. I still want to do that um, game where I am uh, that superhero game where I could potentially be a villain or something. I think that would be a lot of fun, especially if I leaned in real hard to like the almost Clark and Lex relationship from Smallville. I think that would be a really a really fun and interesting way to um, to play a character. But how was everyone's day today? Mine was okay. Just okay. I have a lot of lesson planning to do. But um, I'm supposed to be compensated for things I do outside of work hours. So I did not bring it home because I didn't want to fiddle with that. I'm sure it'll be fine. I pause for a minute. Okay. Well, you know, I don't want to put anybody out, especially if you're not feeling well or if Matt's, you know, going to be running on fumes for, you know, almost every time he's playing a game. I would hate for that. Um, that's not fun or fair to, to him. Yeah. The littlest lox, or the biggest lox sister is, I think, got a, either a, a head cold or um, allergies or something. I think it's a head cold because she is very congested. Sounds like she's talking through a snorkel most of the day. But she did lose her first tooth. She got a special letter from the tooth fairy, um, which was a lot of fun. She was really excited, and she's like, I got $5. I can buy a toy. And I was like, yeah, you could, or you could save it, and you could buy a bigger toy later. She goes, oh, yeah. So we'll have to see what choice she makes. I'll be very interested to see what her choice is. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So that's a little lava patch, and there's just a little bit of a thing there and there. Uh. Jesus. Oh my goodness. Stop yelling at me. You scared me. this let's see what else do I need um, I need a uh, some of these um, what else, what else, what else? 
Oh, we need some of these. And these. Um. This. So, what's everyone's plans for the week? Mine is to not be fat <laughs> over the week. <laughs> oh man, I need to. I need to start doing some more exercising. I think after this, I'm gonna do some stretching and weights and stuff before I head to bed. Okay, so. Um, there is actually, okay, so I had an issue on my phone when I first started, like, watching stuff on Twitch on my phone. Their settings automatically disable video. Um, so you have to, like, go to the settings part of the app and, like, m manually enable it. Uh, it's weird. Um, their mobile app is not the best. Um, I would, it's, yeah, it's just not good kind of have to play around with the settings a little bit to uh to get it to, to work but hopefully morgan knows it, it is no pressure to watch i will not i will not be upset you there is no obligation birthday dinner oh yeah valhalla is another game that i want to wait uh for ps5 um for but I also need to finish all the other game, Assassin's Creed games I have. Uh, uh, just so many games, not enough time to play them all. Fresh Prince says, Fresh Prince 1996 says, hello from Germany. Well, hello from America. From America. And I love the username. That is a fantastic. Yeah, you are very welcome. I, I dig the username. That was one of my, like, go-to, like, after-school shows to watch when I was a kid. So. I had a uh, foreign exchange student. The first DLC hits for student. Okay. Um, I had a foreign exchange student when I lived in a really small town in Kansas. Um, who was from Germany. We had two foreign exchange students, one from Japan and one from Germany. It was pretty cool. They were both considered seniors um, here. I don't know what that would be in Germany, um, just because your guys' school levels are different. Um, like you, you guys have like primary um, and things like that. So I don't know. Yes, the lava can hurt me. It can, so it does um, direct damage to me, and then it sets me on fire, which gives me continuous damage uh, until either the fire burns out or I get in water to douse myself, and then it stops the effect. Also, being underwater for too long can hurt me too. Um, you, you'll get air bubbles that pop up above these little hunger haunches. Um, so yeah. show you the water thing let's see is there two yeah so if you look when I go underwater you see the bubbles and say they're popping so um, you can get armor that gives you increased like it, it essentially increases the time that you can have underwater 
Um, it doesn't make it to where you can breathe underwater. It just increases the time that you can be underwater. Um, you can also get an enchantment on your armor that allows you to go faster through water, walking or swimming. Um, but you have to you have to find you have to get the enchantments on your armor and stuff. So it's kind of a grind, but it's super super doable once you get um, everything set up for it. But yes, lava can hurt you. In fact, lava hurts most mobs too. Uh, there are uh, mobs from the nether that don't get hurt from lava, like um, zombie pigmen don't get hurt from lava. In fact, lava moves faster in the nether. It moves similar to water, um, and so it can actually push uh, uh, zombie pigmen through, like it can push them like water pushes mobs uh, in the overworld. So yeah. I need to put these there. After we, we do a little bit of this, we'll go hop in the nether and just do some exploring. Maybe take down some fun coordinates um, of certain things, you know, if anything catches our eye. Yeah, that's how I do it. Just making sure, making sure you get everything nice. If you're doing something symmetrical, making sure it's symmetrical can be kind of a pain. So I'm trying to play, you know, not let symmetry mess with me a little bit. That's kind of the reason why I have my, um, my iron farm set up the way it is as kind of a receptacle for it. Just because I don't want to um, completely like submit to having everything symmetrical. Um, if I can, if I can, if I can get away with some asymmetry here and there, I will definitely do it. I'm going to block that off because I don't, I don't trust the lava mix there. And I don't know if I have a fire tick off and I don't want to look. Um, hmm. Nope. Ah! Oh. Bryce or grid, excuse me. Um, the one shot was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Um, the character I'm playing is also a lot of fun. He is a hoot. No, that's not what I want. I don't go to school anymore. I pass my journeyman examination. Oh, so you did like uh, an apprenticeship? for plumbing I I gather um, we do that kind of stuff too um, apprenticeships but it's more like after you graduate um, after you you graduate from like just regular school uh, before you go to university oh four years oh wow congratulations yeah but we do apprenticeships apprenticeships here it's not as big of a thing as i think it used to traditionally be um we do like now i would say it's probably closer to um uh internships would be closer to what uh apprenticeships used to be kind of working without being paid kind of thing um unfortunately most internships don't pay even though they make you work which isn't technically illegal, <laughs> but I'm sure in Germany the 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 way that you pay or get paid and everything is probably entirely different than it is here. So the comparisons are probably run pretty pretty flat pretty fast. Uh, oh. Um, so I actually, my, my, my job, um, that I work at during the day is I work with, um, I work at a treatment center for kids who kind of 
made some poor choices. So maybe have had run-ins with the police um, or maybe serving time. Um, those are those are some of the kiddos that I work with. Um, so I have some kiddos that, um, you know, like 15, 16, and they'll be there until they're 21. Um, and I even have some kiddos that'll be there until they're 21. And then after that, they go and they go to jail for a little bit too to serve out the rest of their sentence. Um, so it's almost like a juvenile detention center. Uh, but it's also for treatment, so they also um, receive some counseling and stuff to help them understand and um, be able to make better choices in the future. And I am their teacher, so I I teach um, lots of stuff. <laughs> I, I teach everything, kind of. So uh, I, I actually... Um, so the way ours is working now is one teacher is going to be kind of is doing the planning for one subject area, and we all just share lessons. Um, and so I'm I'm doing the the science because science is kind of my I love science, uh, and I understand it pretty well. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then there's another teacher who does math, another one who does the communication arts. Oh wow, that's nice. That's uh that's. A lot higher than the minimum wage here in the states. Um, our state minimum wage uh, in the state that I live in just went up to like I think ten twenty five, ten thirty, or something like that. Um, when I was in high school, oh gosh, I worked at Burger King, uh, the fast food restaurant. I worked at Burger King, and it the minimum wage had just went up to like five seventy five or something like that. Um, so I'm glad to see minimum wage going up. It, it needs to, it's there, you know, there are people who are trying to support their families on minimum wage and it is nearly impossible. Um, in fact, you know, technically it is impossible. Um, <laughs> by doing the math, it is not possible to, to, to do it on just one minimum wage for like a family of four. So. But that's nice, man. Um, that is fantastic. I uh, I always get kind of not jealous, um, but envious of people who can kind of go to other countries and do certain things. Just because when I was growing up, I would have loved to go to other countries and. Um, and do stuff like that and, and, and visit and work. Um, I always told my wife, uh, if we weren't married, I would have been one of those who just hopped on a plane and tried to be, you know, um, uh, work overseas and teach overseas. I thought that would have been, would have been fun. Um, definitely would have been a different experience than what I have now. Um, but I, I love where I'm at now, so got two kids, a wife, a job, money enough to play around with. If you're ready to make your masters, you can get about 47. Oh wow, that's awesome. That is a lot more than I get paid teaching. I tell you that. Ah! I keep forgetting. I'm gonna go grab some glass after this. <laughs> I think if if you if you do the math. I get about, it's like, it comes out to like 22 or 24 an hour teaching. Um, but I, you know, I have good benefits and stuff. So that kind of helps balance it out a little bit. Where did my other blocks go? Oh, they're there. I was, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna pitch a fit. I was like, I know I grabbed those. And by pitch a fit, I mean just grumble and go pick them back up again. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> oh, man. That always gets me when, when, like, I can't play competitive games with people and take it seriously anymore. Like, I see people get really upset playing games. And, I mean, you know... 
if you're that invested emotionally invested into it um i don't know i just it's hard for me to relate to that because uh, I, I it takes a lot for me to get frustrated with a game i think i get more frustrated if i've wasted a lot of time but it's a long way i mean 20 Oh, yeah, you're 20? Oh, jeez, yeah, you are, you are set. You are good. Uh, yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, I, you are doing well for yourself by uh, American standards. <laughs> Which may or may not mean that much to you in the long run. Uh, so, I mean, that's awesome. To be 20 and have, and have that kind of career set up. That's awesome. We need more light sources. And I know we're getting candles um, in the next update, which will what, be this summer, probably. Um, but man, we, we just need more light sources. Um, I want, oh wait, what side do I have these on left? Okay, wait a minute. They're all pointing towards the stairs. Okay, that's fine. Um, no. <laughs> we, we need half slab light sources, like sea lanterns, half slabbed. Glowstone, half slabs. Give me that, ugh, be perfect. No. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look, it's so nice. Makes me so happy. I don't know why my voice <laughs> keeps doing that. <laughs> um. Okay. So we need wood stairs and slabs. Wait, are you a full? No, you're a full block. <gasps> I did do that. Okay, so you're a full block. Or I could just do double slabs. Um, need those. Yeah. All right, let's grab that. And grab glass. We need to grab glass. Um. I've never went to the U.S. before. I've been dreams to go to Vegas or maybe start a trip to the U.S. Okay, I will tell you right now, Vegas is expensive. You will spend a lot of money in Vegas. Um. I've never been, but my my in-laws, my wife's parents, have been uh, multiple times. And it's just, you're going to spend money. It's a touristy place. Um, gambling, you're going to spend a lot of money. That kind of stuff. Um, it's... The U.S. is really good with touristy stuff. Um, oh, thank you, Siri, for telling me that. Um, you'll get a lot of good... Um, touristy stuff in the states um, you know obviously now is probably not the best time because <laughs> we have not gotten our acts together when it comes to um, <sighs> dealing with uh, COVID and stuff so be, be warned you will um, you will have to wait a while uh, but I mean there's a lot of good places, um, you know, New York, L.A. I've been to L.A. a couple times, or once. I've been to Flor or like to Disney World in Florida a couple times. So there's a lot of good stuff there. There's also a lot of good stuff like in the Midwest too. Like um, when it comes to like skylines or um, if you want like. If you want, like, the stereotypical, like, big American kind of big greasy food, come through the Midwest and go to, like, a local, like, sh like, diner. Oh, man. 
you'll feel your arteries clog with all the cheese and grease. It's delicious. Delicious. Ugh, oh, makes me hungry now. I want a big, greasy cheeseburger. Haha, -ha, I will not fall down. Um, let's do one of these. But, I mean, States is okay. <laughs> we, we, need a, we need to figure some stuff out with ourselves, I think. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely... I, there's a lot of places in Europe I want to visit. There's, you know, so many historical things, um, uh, even in Germany, and it's probably super sensitive, you know, um, like sensitive topics and stuff that probably aren't, um, aren't really conversed about in polite company. Like, I want to see some of the, the museums um, about World War II. I think that would be really interesting and enlightening. Um, especially in times where people kind of glorify some of that. Um, I think, I, I really think that it could be, oh no, I know what I did. Uh, -huh. I am, I am tricky. Um, but people kind of glorify that as, or try to remember it differently. But I, I definitely want to go and see and kind of be in awe of what was what had happened and what came before um because i think there are important things to um to witness and understand uh in my opinion but but yeah there's a lot of stuff in europe that i'd love to go see um love to go to paris see a lot of the museums there oh that'd be so good the art um do all the touristy stuff, of course. Um, I don't, I'm not young enough anymore to want to go like backpacking through Europe. That, that would not be something I would do. I am, I am too old for that nonsense. Um, but yeah, I would definitely want to. Best friend comes from Michigan who moved to Germany because his dad serves in the army and he found his wife. That's awesome. I actually have a friend who found his current, um, uh, uh partner in, in Germany, um, he is from like our, my college. Um, we were fraternity brothers together, music fraternity brothers, and um, he does like barbershop singing and choral singing. Um, and went to uh, went to Germany and found his new. I, I think I think they're not engaged, but I don't know off off the top of my head. But yeah. Um, so he's like kind of getting um, uh, inundated with uh, uh, traditional German culture and stuff instead of kind of what is stereotyped uh, in America um, and things. So it's it's pretty it's pretty interesting to see like his Facebook come up and see some of the stuff he posts because you know it's a completely different experience than me. Um, so I'm always really I'm always really interested to see what he has uh, on there because it's you know it's so different and to see his his partner and and um, and kind of maybe kind of learn a little bit through some of the images about her because we were you know we all hung out a lot in college because uh, when you're in the music department you have no life um, but yeah that's really cool though that uh, get a buddy from Michigan Michigan's a little colder than where <laughs> where I am. Uh, I'm in the middle of the country in Missouri, um, so it's yeah. I don't choose Missouri. <laughs> I don't. I don't claim it, but it's fine. That's where I am. Um, but yeah, Germany sounds like a lot of fun. I'd love to go to England and check out some of the stuff there. Um. But yeah. Clolly! What's up? Well, hello. Thank you for coming by. Uh, that is no problem at all. Uh, I'm glad to see you. I haven't been on the, the, the server in a while. I kind of checked in to, to look at my iron farm to make sure I wasn't messing anything up. But it's good to see you. I'll, I'll have to talk to you um, 
whenever I'm on the server next. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I apologize, Glowy. <laughs> no, I do want to get on because I have I have some projects to finish. So, um, I will definitely see you on there uh, on a different time uh, when I am not doing stuff here. I feel like I'm in trouble with Glowy. <laughs> Yeah, like sometimes it just gets a little monotonous, um, especially when there's only just a couple of us on. You know, it's not as interactive. Um, but hopefully um, when the new update comes out, people get kind of energized and want to play some more. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Um, or maybe we get some new people in. I think that'd be also a lot of fun. And maybe Nims could come back and start streaming too. But yeah, it's good. It's good seeing you again, Quali. Yeah, I'm not sure. I may have to to message the the cousin um, to poke him and kind of see what's going on. Make sure he's in a good headspace. Um, if there's anything I can help out with. As a karma king, oh, he wants to quit. He wants to serve in. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes, like, you figure out, like, you figure out what you want to do when you're on your path to do something else. Um, sometimes walking that path uh, tells you you don't need to be on that path, you know? Um, I love teaching. There was a moment where I questioned um, teaching. I love working with kids, so I know I always want to work with kids. Night, Clawley. I'll see you next time. Uh, but I, you know, I've always wanted to work with kids. Um, for a long time, I wanted to be a pediatrician, um, uh, or I wanted to be a comic book artist making, making stuff that kids would want to read. Um, so yeah, it's, it's tough. Like it, it, it's tough figuring out what you're supposed to do. Or what you feel like you're supposed to do. My armor is almost dead. Um, but yeah, that's tough. I mean, if he's still young enough and can do it, I couldn't go into the army now. I'm too old, too fat. Look at all this iron. It makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. Do I have a crafting table here? I do not. I need one. I need it. I need it now. Um, let's put you... Wait, where's my center? Are you my center? Yes, you're my center. Let's put you here. Boom. All right. Boom. Boom. All right. I thought about going into the military once and it was when my college was giving me a hard time about not having money for school because like I had had everything set up and then uh, some circumstances came up to where I had to then be um, an independent student where they had to factor in everything off my income and things weren't coming in fast enough to tell them that you know I got so much in student aid and all that stuff and they were go and they weren't gonna let me go to classes so I had to like scramble and I was about about one day close to having a decision of going into the military it's not the way I'd w if I wanted to go into the military it's not the way I'd want to do it um, if I want to go in the military it it and honestly I think this is for you know, anybody um, and this is just my opinion. I think if you're going to go in the military, it needs to be for the right reasons. It should never be for the money um, um, or for the the benefits of. Um, it's because you want to serve or you want to you want to to do that on your own accord, not because of what you're going to get out of it. Um, that's not saying that it's bad, but I wouldn't base it on base my entire reasoning for joining on that. 
Again, that's just me. And I'm excited. I can I can almost start building with iron blocks. Ooh. Like I'm a rich Minecrafter. Rich in Minecraft anyway. <laughs> Start getting some beacon areas ready for when I get a beacon, which is going to be a while. Because <laughs> I we haven't ventured into the nether much enough to, to get any of that. To get all the necessary materials. But, no, I thought about it. My uh, I family that was in the military, like my mom's side, a lot of them went into the Navy. So, that could be fun. We know it's the German army. But here in Germany, you don't get the respect like soldiers in the US. You know, the people that the person. Really? That's, I mean, like, no one should laugh at anyone doing their job just because it's, you know, what they're doing. Um, I will tell you that the respect in America for soldiers. <sighs> yeah. And I hesitate to say it because, like, me saying it's going to sound disrespectful. Um,. The respect that our military get isn't rooted in respect. It's rooted in a lot of uh, kind of this nationalistic propaganda that, um, you know, we, there is a lot of respect for, for soldiers and those in the military, but that same respect isn't extended into services that provide for them like veteran services um, and making sure that veterans come home um, especially wounded veterans who need who need care um, that same kind of uh, respect isn't extended there and it's really disheartening um, because I, you know for a country who, who claims to love their veterans so much we often don't treat them as such and so it's it's pretty it's, I don't know, it's a little frustrating because, like, yeah, our, our military is pretty heavily respected in the States, but it's only while they're serving. And even then, um, depending, you know, if you're not in the right branch of the military, you're made fun of. Like, there are so many, um, even within those branches of military, they make fun of each other. There's so many stereotypes and um, jokes. And some of them are just, you know, they probably are now being meant as harmless jokes but for a while they were uh, pretty pretty scandalous you know they they're based in some of that that kind of ignorance of it but ooh, let's go let's go over to the boom mm, boom Uh, it's not consistent. Your service stops being a factor if you go against the majority opinion. Don't like civil fights video. Yeah, like if you're in the military um, and then get out and then criticize the military, people will then first question the fact that you were ever in the military and then talk about you being ungrateful. You know, I would I would consider someone being in the military to be someone who has um, the the best firsthand experience to then criticize. Um, that experience, you know, um, we, you know, individuals can criticize it, um, from an outside perspective. Like if I criticize certain things about the military, I'm, I'm doing so from an outside perspective. I don't know how the inner workings are and I wouldn't claim to be because I'm not a part of that. A lot of limiting mass. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of it comes to like mas masculine and, and emasculating stereotypes I saw that a couple of times that people in the army are joking about the people in the Air Force. Yeah, there's also jokes about people being in the Navy. There's also jokes about the Marines being the best, you know, because the stuff they do is so hard. Um, you know, depending on what you do, you know, you're always going to have people questioning and making fun of it. Um, and even if you're active duty versus non-active duty, I've seen that before, too. Um, I've had a buddy who is not active duty, um, and so he, when when people say if he's ever um, been on the front lines or anything or or being in combat, 
they and he says no they then question his entire like reason for being in the military all that stuff air force and coast guard do good at the worst um coast guard to me that's scary the water's scary like i don't care who you are you're out in the middle of the ocean trying to save somebody you have to make sure you're you're okay to be safe because water doesn't care that you can swim or not the things in the water don't care if you can swim or not like you may be the best swimmer on the planet but if you got a if you got a, a a high volatile storm out there not gonna matter we need to go farm up we need to go breed up the piggies But yeah, the the Coast Guard, like, I give them a lot of props. They're, like, swimming is tough. As a, as a guardsman, I got a lot of attitude. From, yeah, real soldiers, um, people who are on active duty. Yeah, that, that stuff drives me nuts. Whoa. Whoa. You were jumping so high. <laughs> some chickens. Let's do that before the end of stream. Aren't the seals the best? Um, they would say they are. Navy seals would say they are. Marines would say they are. Um, it's like there is really no the best because they're all the reason why we have different branches is because there's different situations to which either a military or emergency personnel would be required. Um, um, and there's specific trainings that go in mind. Like if you go with like hand-to-hand -hand combat, uh, certain branches of the military teach it better than others. Um, if you go with uh, um, uh, like munitions combat, like with, with arms, armed combat and stuff, like they're going to receive different different amount of training depending on what they're doing. Um, it's I don't know there really is no best, and and I would hate to qualify something as being better or best based on something as simple as one category. Um, so it it just kind of I don't know there's a lot of like eh eh about it. Everyone thinks they're the best and most important. Yeah, that's that's true. I would say that that there's there's um, oh no um, that there is a lot of truth there in that um, it kind of I don't know. <sighs> military is weird because like I appreciate the fact that we have a military who does things that I don't want to do. Like I don't want to go overseas. That is not something I ever want to do. I don't want to be um, in a position where be put in a position where I have to think about. Um, taking someone's life? Nope. 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 No way. You could not pay me enough to do that. Um, uh, it's just not, it's not who I am. But I appreciate that, um, you know, I don't have to make those choices. Um, and I understand that, you know, not a lot of people um, are kind of built for that. Some people glorify it um, to an extent that makes them feel like they're built for it um, which you know isn't right either um, they'll glorify you know how many people did you kill or which is a horrible question to ask someone who's just come from uh, active duty it's such a horrible horrible question because we don't know what their headspace is going to be like about that. And it's just a rude question. Like, I wouldn't want to speculate on the lives of others at any point in time. Make your packs bigger, you monster. I, I'm ignoring your PETA comments, sir. Um, It's just they're more of a specialized team, I think. I think that's what it is. 
like Navy SEALs are a specialized uh, team of the Navy. Um, so there's like certain specialized teams. Well, thank you, Fresh Prince, for following. I appreciate it. So yeah, training and purpose. So it's just how much training did they receive? What is their their designation, their purpose in serving? Or in um, in their in their training, so it it kind of just depends. I need a chicken. Chicken, 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 need a chicken. Ooh, we went a little over stream time today, but that's okay. I really want to find a chicken. 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 Yeah, so, yeah, they're, they're a part of that bigger branch. They're just, they, they have a more specialized training. Um, you hear England calling? <laughs> well, I appreciate you being here, Grid. Uh, it helps out a lot. If you need to go to England to, uh, to do unthinkable things with an axe I completely understand <laughs> hello chicken the training to become a seal is very hard I saw some of videos yeah um, some of that is usually amped up a little bit for videos um, and not every base receives the exact same type of training. Um, you know, there are certain things that they will be doing, but it's not ever going to be exactly the same. This, uh, the intensity is never going to be uh, exactly the same. Hey, Morgan, what's up? Um, but yeah, I'm still, I'm still playing. Uh, <laughs> I'm still playing. Come on, Chicon. Chicon. Morgan, do you Minecraft? Are you a Minecrafter? Chicon. Come here, Chicon. Chicon. Aww. We love you anyway. <laughs> That's okay. Neither is Grid. <laughs> Yeah, you do. I need to get some new furniture down in the basement. Look at his little feet. Look at his little feet. Little cute little feet. They laughed in your But it's setting how many ranks you guys have in the military compared to Germany. Um, yeah. There's probably a whole argument for and against those two. Wait, where's my chicken? Chicken! Buckark! Buckark! Aha! I found a chicken. Now I need more chickens. <laughs> uh. 
That's going to be for horses. That's so many. Yeah. Eventually, I'm going to have a really, really awful, um, <laughs> a really awful, like, sheep farm that doesn't so much as produce sheep as it is just a mechanism to get their wool. Do I have eggs anywhere? Yeah, there's my eggs. There's my eggs. Get your eggs. Get your eggs. All right. Well, this seems like a great time to stop. And let me see, let me see, let me see. Do this. And then do this. Nope, do this. Aha! Ten sheep per block of fence. <laughs> Monster. Yes. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, I plan on streaming Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. Probably playing The Witcher. Um, also, um, maybe some Saturday-ish action happening to Saturday or Sunday. So be on the lookout for that. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All at Mr. Retro, M-M-R-R-E-T-R-O. Two M's, two R's, E-T-R-O. Um, yes, bring coins for your Witcher on Wednesday. Witcher Wednesdays. Bye, Prince. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you for following. Um, uh, also, this is going to be ported over to YouTube tomorrow. So if you're watching from the future, thank you for watching. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. Um, but yeah, go ahead and follow me anywhere on those platforms. Uh, follow me here on Twitch. Follow me on YouTube. All of that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.